then active listening, when you are sitting there with the three people, it is good to make sure that you are listening. And I heard it said the other day, I think Jordan Peterson said it, uh, listen to the person as though they have something, they know something that you need to know. And you want to listen in a way that they are willing to tell it to you. So there's always something you can learn from people. And even if it's something a little strange, uh, like there's always something, even if they're, you're like, this person is boring. There's, you just haven't got the right topic to talk to because everybody has something that's interesting. You just have to find what it is. And so, uh, so you want to just listen, actually be present and listen to them. And, you know, it's, it's sometimes you get some good information. Sometimes you don't, sometimes you're like, huh, I think I just wasted you know, seven minutes of my time listening to this person. But you want to, you know, when somebody's really genuinely listening to you and you want to extend that courtesy to them. Certainly. So active listening, also asking questions and, and paraphrasing is another t technique of that. Right. You know, when they tell you something, you know, you may not have the most passion about what they're actually saying, but paraphrasing what they just said shows that you're able to um, at least comprehend what had being said. And if it's not interesting enough to ask a question, you can at least, you know, repeat it to them just so you fully understand what was being exchanged. Right. Then, uh, so icebreakers for icebreakers, uh, there's either you can memorize a few or you can do the observation. So I tell people, if you're not good at observation for some reason, then you can, Memorize them. There's these, uh, like, there's this company that makes a little box that's icebreakers and that just has a bunch of different things that you can say to people. So, for example, you know, who in, who in your life inspires you to be better? And there's all kinds of different things that they have that you can say. So, if you wanted to, you could just memorize like three, and those could just be the ones that you always use when you uh, meet with somebody and you're trying to kick it off. But what I like to do is I like to observe, I come in and I will, when you've scanned the room, you can talk about the temperature of the room, you can talk about the food, you can talk about what they're wearing, like that yellow belt that I had. I could talk yep. about it, they can talk about it. I can talk about, uh, you know, the, the bathrooms. What do you think the bathrooms are like here? There's, <laughs> there's no limit to talk about what they're wearing, what you observed. Hey, I think everybody's looking at us. Look, don't look now, but I think everybody's looking and judging us. Yeah, there's so many things that you can say just from observing. Like, what? You tried the pickle sandwiches. <laughs> yes, what's with these cucumber sandwiches? Is that cream? cucumber sandwiches? Yeah. yeah. And there's you know, so many things just from the observation. You can ask, hey, what's with that dragonfly lapel pin? What's going on there? And so there's just so many things just by observing and just pointing something out that's in the room and talking about it. And, uh, you know, do you think that it's uh, that we have to get our parking validated? Yeah, I don't know. There's there's so many, <laughs> so many things that you can say. So uh, I prefer the observation, but uh, there's some other people that I've talked to that are more comforted by memorizing, you know, two or three things that they will just come up and say, uh, you know, I don't think I've met you yet. I'm Nick. Uh, one of the things that I've done, uh, I came to shake some hands. Hey, I came to shake some hands. Who are you? Who are you guys? Uh, there might be a guy that I, so there was this guy, Chris, that was, I knew him, but I'd only met him one time, but he was standing next to four people that I knew he did not know. But I walked up and said, hey, Chris, introduce me to your friends. And then I just started introducing <laughs> myself to the sure. four people that were standing next to him. I said, hey, I'm Nick, I'm Nick. And I knew that he didn't know them, but it was a, an opening. And right, sure. Then, Someone has an accent. I'm like, interesting accent. Where is that from? And the person was from Jordan. I was like, oh, Jordan. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. What brings you here? You know, and so it kind of kicks off some things. Other people, I'm like, is that a British accent? And they're like, no, I'm from Canada. I'm like, huh, okay. I was way off, way off on that. A. Eh? <laughs> but it, but it gets but it gets that conversation going. It breaks the ice. It's almost like a uh, I don't want to say a a pickup line for business, but kind of what it is right i mean it's like a way to at least have a conversation about something so yes 